Hello everyone, welcome to Sanology. Today I want to make a cream for dry and sensitive skin. I use Ceramide Complex because one of the problems that people with sensitive skin has is that their skin barrier is damaged. And Ceramide is one of the things that already work in their skin barrier. It can give a really lovely protection for their skin. So if you want to know how I made a cream with Ceramide, watch this video. Let's start with our water phase and the powders that would be in our water phase. I use Alantoin as moisturizing, anti-irritating, skin soothing, and skin protecting. It's coming by 0.5% in our formulation. Then I add 19% water to my formulation. Next is an acetyl glucosamine. It increases hyaluronic acid production, repairs sun damage, and also reduces the appearance of wrinkles in our skin. Our next ingredient is DL pantanol. It improves heart direction, it reduces water loss, and also it maintains its skin elasticity. Uh, it's coming by 2% in our formulation. And then I add niacinamide. Niacinamide coming by 5% in my formula. It's improved skin texture. It's improved hyperpigmentation. It improved redness in people who have rosacea. Then I add my extract like butchazole, hydrosol. It's potent antioxidant, very effective anti-inflammatory for our skin. And then I add hyaluronic acid. It's a solution of 1% hyaluronic acid for my formulation. I use as 20%. Aloe vera extract coming by 10% in my formula. And then I add glycerin by 3% in my formulation. Now it's time to add our active ingredient. I use ceramide complex. It's a complexion of the ceramide different type coming by 3% in my formula. It's restore uh, protective barrier function of the skin. It's really great and perfect for people who have sensitive skin and also dry and aged skin. Now it's, the it's time to continue with our oil phase. In my oil phase, I have cetyl alcohol. Cetyl alcohol coming as emulsion, a stabilizer, and also a pacifier in our formula. It's coming by 2%. It can make a very thick uh, cream for us. And then I add glycerin estrarot. It's a high emulsifier, um, H high HLB emulsifier. Now it's time to add our major emulsifier. I use Polavax as non-ionic emulsifying wax. It uh, make actually our cream. Then I add uh, shea butter. Shea butter coming by 2%. I actually forgot to tell you that how much, um, how much Polavax I use. I use 2% Polavax in my formulation. Then I add grapeseed oil. Grapeseed oil can reduce acne breakouts. It can also lighten acne scars. It's great oil to add our oily uh, oil phase of our formulation. Then I add or jojoba oil. It's really uh, great oil for our skin. It's have the same um, structure as our sebum. Before we put our beaker in our water bath, it's better to weight the water phase beaker and write down the, the weight to keep it for the time that we back from the heat and find out if we need more water, we can add it to our water phase. And then we cover up the beakers and put them in the water bath for almost half an hour in uh, 70 degree. And then we mix all two phases, water phase to our oil phase, and then I use a stick blender to mix them all. In here I use my stick blender. I blend uh, water phase to the oil phase. It's uh, still too runny and also too hot. It's better to give it more 10 minutes and then we will back. Here 
here we actually made our creme face as you can see we have a very thick and great mixed creme here and now it's time to add our uh, cool down face to our cremes i add liquid derma plus which is our preservative in 0.5 percent uh, to my formulation then I add vitamin E as also 0.5%. Then I add my active ingredient. Active ingredient is FSS Party Face Palm. It's a mixture of pomegranate oil and also um, orange balsam oil is um, actually immediately lift the skin and reduce the appearance of wrinkles um, so as I said I, use, I made this cream for people who um, who have dry and also aged skin it's really great ingredient to add to my cream then I add cucumber seed oil uh, this is also another great ingredient to add to our formulation it's also give a really good scent and smell for our cream now all the cream um, actually form and it is time to check the pH. The pH for this formulation is 5.5 uh, um, and it's really great pH for our cream and also gel for the formulation. Now you uh, need to package your cream in a 50 gram uh, jar and then you can use it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And thank you so much for watching.